Dear Hero, in the study of cooperation among organisms, animal behaviorists use the game theory game, the prisoner's dilemma, and the game theory strategy, tit for tat, to help them explain logically why and how reciprocal altruism exists in the animal kingdom. The prisoner's dilemma game uses mathematical matrices comparing the different outcomes of variations of loyal and treacherous decisions among multiple participants in situations where one participant's outcome is dependent on what another does. The game begins by imagining that a crime has been committed by two persons who agree not to snitch on each other if caught by the police. They do get caught. Police bring them into the station and put them into separate rooms for interrogation. The cops have enough evidence to convict both on lesser charges, but need to have the criminals implicate each other in order to jail them for a more serious crime. Therefore, the detectives offer each suspect a lighter sentence if they will snitch on their partner. If the focal suspect accepts the cop's offer to defect by snitching, while the other maintains their agreement to cooperate by staying quiet, then the snitch will get the maximum reward of a lighter prison sentence of one year, while the other suspect gets the maximum punishment of a six-year prison sentence. If together both suspects maintain their agreement to stay quiet, then the police will have to settle for convicting both on the lesser charge and each suspect will get a two-year prison sentence. If both defect by snitching on each other, then the police will renege on their deal for a lighter sentence and get them both for a four-year sentence each. To reiterate, dear hero, if both stay quiet, they both get two years. If both snitch, they both get four years. If one snitches while the other stays quiet, then the snitch gets one year while the loyal one gets six years. Game theorists have concluded through iterated comparisons that it is a more reliable strategy to defect no matter what the other does. And that is the dilemma, dear hero, that the best reward comes from cooperation, but defection by default is the more reliable strategy. Even though defection is mathematically reliable, evolutionary behaviorists found that it is not the evolutionary stable strategy of most species. This means most members of most animals choose to cooperate with each other rather than always being treacherous. Cooperation among the majority shouldn't exist by evolutionary standards, but it does. The tit-for-tat game theory strategy aims to rationalize this phenomena through iterated play of the prisoner's dilemma game. The strategy begins by cooperating on the first move. Then, on each succeeding move, do what your opponent did in the previous move. Animal behaviorists call this cooperation based on reciprocity, and they use it to explain how cooperation evolved. A few key points for maximizing tit-for-tat success are never be first to defect, expect cooperation, retaliate immediately after the other has defected. This discourages it persistent whenever a defection is attempted. Forgiveness after retaliating just once helps restore the mutual cooperation and maximizes long-term rewards. Using the tit-for-tat strategy one positions themselves for the best possible rewards in prisoner dilemma scenarios, but using a treacherous strategy of disloyalty offers more favorable rewards no matter what the other participant does. It is interesting to note 
that in one psychological study, real-life prisoners played the prisoner's dilemma game against other prisoners, while college students played against fellow students. The results were compared and found that the criminals all chose a strategy of cooperating together, while the students all chose a strategy of defecting on one another. Even though the college students played a more reliable strategy, they missed out on the best possible outcome by defecting by default. In the end of this experiment, the criminals ended up with significantly less time than their more educated counterparts. This suggests to us, dear hero, that one should never plot with the uninitiated. An effective set refers to competitors that form an alliance in order to enforce an advantage. It is a position which has the potential for maximum rewards in scenarios that depend on loyalty. Dear Hero, in order to be a part of an effective set like the Adamses, it will require you to cooperate with potentially treacherous partners in scenarios when it's against your own best interest to cooperate. When seeking alliances that can lead to maximum rewards, remember these rules. 1. Never be first to defect. 2. Retaliate immediately against defection. 3. Forgive after just one retaliation. And finally, dear hero, from the unnamed students and prisoners of an unknown game theory experiment, always remember to be weary of the loyalty of the uninitiated when treachery is in their best interest. Yes, I do. 